God. God, our Creator and Redeemer, as you gladden the wedding at Cana in Galilee by the presence of your Son, so by his presence now bring your joy to this wedding. Look in favor upon Ronald and Anne Marie. First lesson is a reading from the 12th and 13th chapters of 1 Corinthians. St. Paul writes, Best of all, however, is the following way. I may be able to speak the languages of men and even of angels, but if I have no love, my speech is no more than a noisy gong or a tiny bell. I may have the gift of inspired preaching. I may have all knowledge and understand all secrets. I may have all the faith needed to move mountains, but if I have no love, I am nothing. I may give away everything I have and even give up my body to be burned, but if I have no love, it does me no good. Love patient and kind, love is not jealous or conceited or proud, love is not ill mannered or selfish or irritable, love does not keep a record of thoughts, love is not happy with but is happy with the truth. Love never gives up. Its faith, hope, and patience never fail. Love is eternal. There are inspired messages, but they are temporary. There are gifts of speaking in strange tongues, but they will cease. There is knowledge, but it will pass. For our gifts of knowledge, the inspired messages are only partial, but when it is perfect, When I was a child, my speech, feelings, and thinking were all those of a child. Now that I am a man, I have no more use for childish ways. What we see now is like the dim image in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. What I know now is only partial. Then it will be complete, as complete as God's pledge of me. Meanwhile, service is from the 19th chapter of Matthew, verses 4 through 6. Have you not read that he who made them from the beginning made them male and female, and said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one. So they are no longer two, but one. joy that begins now and is brought to perfection in the life to come. Because of sin, our age-old rebellion, the gladness of marriage can be overcast and the gift of the family can become a burden. But because God who established marriage continues still to bless it with his abundant and perfect support, we can be sustained in our weakness and have our joy restored. Ronald and Anne-Marie, it is your intention to share with each other your joy sorrows, and all that the years will bring. With your promises, bind yourselves now to each other as husband and wife. Please join your hands and repeat your vows to each other. Repeat them after me. Anne-Marie, I take you to be my wife. Anne-Marie, I take you to be my wife. From this time on, to join with you, to join with you, and to share, and to share all that is to come, all that is to come. To give and to receive, to give and to receive. To speak and to listen, to speak and to listen. To inspire and to respond, to inspire and to respond. And in all circumstances of our life together, and in all circumstances of our life together, to be loyal to you with my whole life, to be loyal to you with my whole life, and with all my being. 
so long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. Ronald, I take you to be my husband. Ronald, I take you to be my husband. From this time onward. From this time onward. To join with you. To join with you. And to share. To inspire and to respond, and in all circumstances of our life together, to be loyal to you with my whole life, and with all my being, so long as we both shall live. So repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a sign, as a sign. of my love and faithfulness. Of my love. by their promises before God and in the presence of this congregation, have bound themselves to each other as husband and wife. Blessed be the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Will the bride and groom please kneel? The Lord God who created our first parents and established them in marriage, Establish and sustain you that you may find delight in each other and grow in holy love until your life's end. Amen. At this time, the congregation is invited to join in the singing of hymn number 289. <coughs>
Lord God, constant in mercy, great in faithfulness. With high praise, we recall your acts of unfailing love for the human family, for the house of Israel, and for your people, the church. We bless you for the joy which your servants, Ronald and Anne-Marie, have found in each other. And pray that you give to us such a sense of your constant love that we may employ all our strength in a life of praise of you whose work alone holds true and endures forever. Faithful Lord, source of love, pour down your grace upon Ronald and Anne-Marie, that they may fulfill the vows they have made this day and reflect your steadfast love in their lifelong faithfulness to each other. As members with them of the body of Christ, use us to support their life together, and from your great store of strength give them power and patience, affection and understanding, courage, and love toward you, toward each other, and toward the world, that they may continue together in mutual growth according to your will in Jesus Christ our Lord. Gracious Father, you bless the family and renew your people. Enrich husbands and wives, parents and children more and more with your grace, that strengthening and supporting each other, they may serve those in need and be a sign of the fulfillment of your perfect kingdom, where with your Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, you live and reign, one God, through all ages of ages. Amen. Let us now join in praying the prayer our Lord has taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Will the bride and groom to stand. <laughs> Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, keep you in his life and truth and love, now and forever. Amen. In conclusion, since I said that this was a Danish tradition, I think I should tell you that the a little just a little bit about the history of words. Everybody knows me for that. Groom, the, the old Norse word for man was was actually gummy. And the, the way the language developed over the last 800 years, you got an R in there. So the word groom really means man. So we see that today's wedding was really quite Scandinavian indeed. Groom uh, has always existed as the man who is to be married. You also get it in, in the sense of the groom who grooms the horse. We'll, you usually find that the civic words last. The other, the other thing was uh, bride is also Danish, Scandin Scandinavian word, and the word for wedding in Scandinavian is brulos, which means, I don't, we quite don't know why, but it means in fact uh, brood or bride loaf. Loaf is an English word too, meaning run. I must say we had to run for this wedding this morning. So, uh, I wish that everyone would stand now and toast. <laughs> I won't go through the Scandinavian toast, but it means long life, hoorah, hoorah. It's a long life, hoorah, hoorah, hoorah.